ladies and gentlemen, welcome to VFG Movie Reviews with your host, Tim Williams. How's it going, guys? Welcome to VFG Movie Reviews, and this is my review for Hayao Miyazaki's The Boy and the Huron. Now, I gotta start this off with, I am not going to begin to tell you I completely understood this movie, because I absolutely didn't. I am absolutely going to also say that this is the first Miyazaki film that I've watched all the way through. I've never seen how... I, I've probably seen snippets of Howl's Moving Castle. Um, any of his movies, I've probably seen snippets of it. I've never just sat and watched his films. I am appreciated and in awe of his accomplishments and what he's brought to anime and to storytelling and to visuals and stuff like that don't get me wrong there but like i said i am not going to begin to tell you that i understood any of this at all what i am going to tell you is i saw the dubbed version uh when this comes out on blu-ray i will pick it up and i will watch the um uh, normal uh language of this film i will uh i i I wanted to go into it with the dubbed version because I wanted to hear the actors that they got for the dubbed version, which was Christian Bale, Robert Pattinson, Florence Pugh, uh, Willem Dafoe, like a slew of people were in the dubbed version of this. Uh, some of this was just really cool and what what I understood of what it was. Uh, Dave Bautista uh, plays the uh, the 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 parakeet king and like in the in the it, it takes place in world war world war two world war two uh the movie starts off with his mother dying and he goes and his father goes to live with his new wife who looks a lot like his mother but it's her sister and they're having a baby and he's gonna be a big brother and him dealing with that and then going off into this world where he actually meets his mother and meets himself as an older person but then meets his um, grandfather who control who who controls the the world and everything it, it's it's a lot it's a lot and when i watch it again i mean i will definitely get the understanding of this movie but visually this is so such a cool movie the uh the the uh heron which is basically like a crane uh is actually this fat dumpy dude in a like a suit kind of and he he becomes friends with the boy and his mom is a is a fire goddess and they they leave the the, the world is falling apart and they have to go through these doors which are doors to different times and she and him as an old as a teenager go through one door but that would take him to the time where his mom dies in a fire and then he'll go through the door that uh takes him back to his regular time and it's <laughs> it's so interesting there's these uh like dwarfish weird handmaidens and one of them goes with him on this adventure but they're not they're not allowed to go there so they become like little um like uh wooden creatures that he uh, wouldn't just uh wooden dolls that he has in his pocket and everything and it's it, it, it's it's such an interesting flick it really is and just fuck me for just i know all of this has like uh roots in japanese history and uh, yeah and just i don't know that history so i don't know what these care what these characters are or to relation to that and everything but this movie is so goddamn beautiful that the voice acting was just phenomenal and i was blown away by everything that i was seeing in this movie and it's all hand drawn like it's just so beautiful it's just so beautiful um 
like I said, I will be watching the original uh, language version of this when it comes out, and I'll probably pick up a little bit more about this movie. And uh, one of my friends, she said this movie is weird, and this movie is weird, but it is weird in such a beautiful, 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 beautiful uh, way. And I'm going to be covering more uh, of his movies and other anime and stuff like that. I want to add variety to the channel. So let me know down below uh, what a couple of your favorites of Miyazaki's movies are. And I will pick those up. I will watch those and I will review them on the channel. Where does this lie on my five-star review scale? The story is a four. The cinematography is a four. I love the characters in this, which are a five. The design is a four, which brings our total to 4.2. Just amazing. Absolutely just amazing brilliance. Uh, let me know down below, guys, if you saw this movie, what do you think? Is it a contender for your top movie of the year? It's definitely on that list. It's definitely on that list for me. Thank you guys so very much for watching this review. Uh, give us a thumbs up if I earned it and subscribe to the channel if I doubled earned it. Thank you guys so very much and I will see you in our next review. Bye.